Have you ever had to spend hours waiting for Tableau Desktop to create a local extract when you're first connecting to the data source? It used to happen to me, and you're not alone. Um, but surprisingly, many people aren't aware of a quick, easy solution to this problem, creating an empty extract. In this tutorial, I'll show you a simple way to create a local empty extract quickly and then publish it to the server in order for it to do all the work for you. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to use the orders from the Superstore dataset. You'd be surprised, actually, how many people aren't aware of this empty extract tip. Um, it used to take me hours sometimes to create an extract locally when I'm first connecting to a dataset. So I will show you how to save time and do it in seconds using an empty extract. What we want to do first is see, keep it as a live connection. We don't want to create that extract yet. We don't want it to take the time. We're going to start with the live connection, leave it as is, and go to sheet one. So this is where we're going to now create just a basic visual. Um, I'll do years of order date. I'll bring in some of sales for a basic line chart. Okay, just for the purposes of demonstrating some some data that we're using, or we're trying to show here. Now, in order to create that empty extract, we need to first create a parameter. That parameter will be called the eight empty extract, and we're going to create this as a Boolean data type with a value of true or false, with the default value being true. Okay, we'll hit OK. And now in order for the parameter to work, you need to feed it into a calculated field. A parameter on its own will not do anything. So we will create another one called create empty extract as a calculated field. And let's show our parameter, and you'll see here that the true is selected. So right now we're saying true, not false. So the next step now is to go back to that data source and create that extract. Now on the extract option, we are going to add a filter, and this is where we are going to add the filter for create empty extract. And what you want to do here is exclude true. Essentially, what we're saying is when true is selected, exclude the data. Create that empty extract. Hit OK. Save settings. And we'll now we will create this extract. We go to sheet one. Now it initiates and creates that extract. And it will only take a few seconds. Whereas before, it with a full data set, millions of rows, it may take you quite a bit of time. You'll notice that it is empty because that line chart is no longer here. There's no data. There's nothing showing. Okay. Um, what we then want to do is change this. This is important. We now have to change this to false. Okay. We want to now not create an empty extract because we will now publish this to the server. When we're publishing to the server, we wanted to create that extract. So we go to server, publish data source and we sign in and publish the server. Once it's on that server, then that is where you'll create um, the, the extract or refresh the extract on the ser server. And um, whatever time it takes, it takes there, but you don't have to wait for it here on the computer. And um, usually on the server, it is faster than doing it locally on your computer. Please like and subscribe to my channel to see other tutorials and also follow me on the Data Nerd podcast. Here's the blog post written by Tableau where I got this idea from. So creating an empty extract. This will give you step-by-step -step details on how to do that as well. And I will leave this in the show notes for reference with a link to this article.